So I put together a poll on Twitter and I asked everyone what they wanted me to do a brief history of. So today, I'm in Adventureland to talk about Adventureland. So when Disneyland opened in 1955, there were five original lands, one of them being Adventureland. And each land had a different purpose. They were trying to sell you on something else. Adventureland was selling the stories of true life adventures, the Disney nature documentaries that he'd been putting out during the 1950s. The true life adventure documentaries were the very first nature documentaries ever presented. And because of that, there was only one attraction initially opening with Adventureland, and that was the all animal Jungle Cruise. And when the Jungle Cruise opened, Walt Disney actually wanted real animals, but of course they would probably be sleeping most of the day in the hot summer. So instead he opted for the animatronic animals that we see today on the attraction. And over the years they've upgraded the Jungle Cruise time and time again to freshen it up. They've brought on the Jingle Cruise as their holiday celebration. And uh, they've still kept this relic here, which is the initial ticket booth where they used to sell tickets to the Jungle Cruise. The great thing about Adventureland is that it continually changed and continually grew. The shrubbery, the trees, and everything around actually became more and more of a jungle as years went on. And that was great for Adventureland and for the Jungle Cruise, but more needed to be added to Adventureland for people to keep coming back. So Walt Disney added a couple of new features, including the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse, which became the Tarzan Treehouse, and being on top of the tiki craze of the 1950s and 60s, he added Disneyland's first animatronic show, the Enchanted Tiki Room. The Enchanted Tiki Room opened in 1963 as the very first audio animatronic show and it was an instant hit and it's still been here ever since and it includes this Dole Whip stand behind me which is one of the most popular locations in the park to get any kind of snack. Initially when Walt Disney Imagineering thought up the Enchanted Tiki Room, they actually thought of it as a restaurant with the show going on around you. However, people didn't understand that the birds may be animatronic, and they were fearful of the idea of ordering food with birds sitting above them. You know, the whole pooping onto your plate kind of thing. Tarzan's Treehouse would open in 1962 as the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse, and it would accompany the film. But in 1999, when Tarzan came out, they found it to be a good reason to change over the treehouse for a new generation. And they added in a lot of elements from Tarzan, including the great Phil Collins soundtrack. One of my favorite parts of the treehouse is, well, it doesn't have a long line, but also the views. So nice. I love that Mrs. Potts and Chip seem to have made their way into Sarzan's little play area down here at the bottom of the tree. So you might be familiar with the Frontierland Shooting Gallery, which has always been a hit over in Frontierland ever since it opened in the mid-60s. But before the Frontier Shooting Gallery, there used to be a shooting gallery right here across from the uh, bazaar area within these shops called the Big Game Safari Shooting Gallery. And it was such a hit that they ended up opening the one in Frontierland and eventually closed to the one over here to make room for more shopping. This giant line of people here behind me came in the 1990s when Disneyland wanted to re-spruce up Adventureland. And by doing that, they changed over a few things. One, the Tahitian Terrace Restaurant, which was connected to the tiki room and very famously serving Hawaiian food with hula dancers and fire dancers ended up changing to Aladdin's Oasis and they added a brand new attraction and probably one of the more popular ones in the entire Disneyland theme park, the Indiana Jones Adventure. 
So the Indiana Jones Adventure was the very first motion vehicle ride, something that would eventually come to Disney World and the dinosaur attraction. But it's become a huge attraction here and has remained popular because of its theming, because of the details that have gone into it, and because of the thrills that go along with the motion vehicle. So Adventureland has stayed pretty much the same ever since the turn of the 21st century. However, there have been small, tiny changes like adding in a fruit cart and moving that into the old bazaar trading post area and making it a better, easier walkway just recently. And also, one of the things I'll always love about Adventureland is that there's always life here. There's always plants and they're always growing. And it will always be changing and developing into more and more of an Adventureland, into more and more of the jungle that Walt Disney always wanted it to be. So maybe I'm a little bit biased here, but I was really looking forward to doing Adventureland and I'm glad that everyone voted for it in the poll. But there's a brand new poll and if you'd like to vote for the next brief history video, you can do it in the upper right hand corner. Just click on the cards and you'll see the poll. Uh, you can also see the playlist of the other brief history videos that I've done in case you want to backlog and check those out. Make sure to also subscribe and like to this channel if you enjoyed this video or any of our other videos. And uh, you can buy a t-shirt, including this Adventureland t-shirt right here. Uh, it's brand new to our shop and I totally think that you should get it. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. I appreciate your time and uh, keep on moving, people.